we are at a really cool train show. This is the Golden Spike NMRA group, and they've been uh, holding an annual train show in the Stadler Manufacturing Plant in Salt Lake City. So the first three tracks are operational now. It was fun to run the trains in and out, and I could switch on them. So you can actually get trains through the spaghetti here. Yep. Not across here yet. That's a future project. Unreal. That's gonna be a the single most complicated track design ever. That is so cool. The train show is held here in the Stadler uh, manufacturing plant in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's just an amazing place and they're now having a train show in here. Uh, so far, they've had it, uh, I think, three different times. It'd be great if this turns into uh, an annual event. How fast can it go before it derails? We were super fortunate to have access to much of the facility to come here and shoot video, and even to speak with Martin Ritter here, CEO of U.S. Operations. one that doesn't have lights anymore. We asked him what exactly brought them to Utah in the first place. I usually say it's because Salt Lake has the best snow on the earth, but, but really we were looking for a home in 2016 to build uh, trains for the North American market and Utah offered us everything we needed at that point of time to start an operations here in Utah and so that's what we did and grew since then. We started with Texas. Texas is an important market for us. We're, uh, we're building trains for California quite successfully. Um, we're building, you see the trains uh, afterwards in our shop are for California mostly. Uh, we're building metro cars for Atlanta in the meantime, so they're here in the shop as well. Um, and then starting next year, we're building trains for Chicago as well. We're building um, bi-level cars, uh, multiple units for, for California. And then we're building single level, like a low entrance platform, multiple units as well. They're available as diesel trains, diesel electric, or as battery trains or hydrogen trains or any combination out of it. Um, we're building the metro cars and we hope someday to build some uh, light rail as well. How does uh, hydrogen work? Good. We, um, we just had hit the world record three, four months ago. Uh, we run our hydrogen train in Pueblo on the test track for uh, over 1,741 miles um, with a single charge or fuel. Um, so that was um, busting our comp our the existing the existing um, world record was was busted by two and a half times. So fairly uh, fairly successful and super reliable as well. I mean, we were obviously with new technology, you know, you, you're always uh, to a certain extent concerned but we have very often redundant systems and the fuel cells actually turned out to work very well for us. So the whole tank, hydrogen tank uh, system as well. So it is a fuel cell system? Now. Yes. So yeah, it we... just converts the hydrogen directly to electricity? Yes. Um, yeah, and it charges battery. It, is, it has batteries as well, uh, the train. Um, it charges batteries or goes straight on the, on the traction. Um, so it's a kind of a smart, smart model and yeah, it runs between six at the moment. We do between install six or eight fuel cells. That helps with the redundancy. Uh, we have different length of the storage capacity, so different amount of fuel, fuel tanks for hydrogen. And with that, we have different range that we can achieve. So then you get regenerative braking because of the batteries? Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And the battery train, obviously, which is hydrogen train without the hydrogen component to it, right? So the battery train obviously regenerates the braking energy and um, depends a little bit on the chemistry and the, uh, where the batteries are located, whether they're on the roof or in the power pack. Uh, we have a certain amount of, of batteries and with that a certain range. So we're excited next year to hopefully um, ride the first battery train, um, the first in actually the nation and see where we can get with the range as well. <laughs>
so the hydrogen train is is you don't charge the batteries if we build the, the battery train without the hydrogen component to it then it's a pure battery so you have to charge it now there's different charging uh, concept one is a uh, from the car industry, we know that as well. It's the fast charging, destination charging. So whenever the train turns around, you charge at the end station for certain minutes. Um, the other alternative is that you have a partial electrified line. As an example, if you want to electrify an existing diesel corridor, you could do this in segments. Let's say we only have the funding for XY, so we're electrifying 25% of the alignment, and the rest you can bridge with the batteries. So the train would actually charge the batteries while it's running underneath catenary and then use the batteries without catenary and then you still have destination charging as a combination, yeah. That's a great concept, yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. I love the regenerative across catenary, that is such a grand idea. That is, I mean obviously you need a, a fairly busy network so that that it also helps, right? You have to have a train picking it up on the other the other direction or whatever, but that's what we do with, with Caltrain as well, yeah. Caltrain is, it's funny, the first time we were actually braking with the Caltrain on our test track, we kind of hit all the breakers because there was too much energy going back into the uh, OCA. Yeah, I mean, it's like, our, our test track doesn't allow that much power to come back, to get back into the system. So we created some, uh, some downtime for the uh, for our neighborhood here. <laughs> it's a learning. It's a learning curve. Well, it's just so wonderful that they're able to do a train show here in Stadler's facility. Isn't that nice? I, I had for years wanted to see the inside of this place, and here's an opportunity. Exactly. And it's a good train show. Oh, it's wonderful. I love the Legos here. Oh, I know that is just fun. And uh, a lot of the. The usual groups that will show up at these NMR, oh, the pizza box. That's my favorite right there. I love this because they get kids involved. Exactly. I think they've done now over 1,200. Goodness. That's 1,200 kids all making model railroads. Right. And over here, uh, N-scale modular group. Just, uh, just so much fun. I, I get the biggest kick out of these train shows. Let's take a quick look around the shop here. Uh, this is one of the assembly areas, but right next to it is the intern area. This is where they bring in interns, student interns, and uh, teach them all manner of, uh, of uh, machining and uh, manufacturing, the sort of things that they do here at Stadler. Oh, check it out, a 3D printer. 3D printing has just really, really taken over. It's such a, it, uh, an interesting technology. It's actually been around for quite a while, but it really grew into its paws, I guess you could say, over the last uh, five years or so. And this is a model of their hydrogen train. Oh my! It's like one eighth scale or something. Isn't that fun? That is interesting. This could well turn out to be the train technology of the future. Right I'm here. sure it will be. It will sure be interesting to see where this goes, you know, maybe pun intended. <laughs> they build up the wiring harnesses in a separate area and then here all of the wiring harnesses are being installed in the trains. Goodness, look at all that. And all of the control panels build up and all of the electrics hooked up. This is incredible. No kidding. And this is the area where they're installing the windows. Right. Some system of bonding the windows to the train. Gigantic area. Some of the components, a lot of the components, are manufactured somewhere else and then they're delivered here for final assembly. And over here, the warehouse area. Wow, that is huge. That holds a lot. I, you know what? It reminds me of the final scene from Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh my, and it just reminds me of a big auto parts supplier or something. 
And here we have another car assembly area. A different type of car being assembled over here. That one looks smaller. And the wheel truck shop. Oh my goodness, what a work of art, really. When you think about how much technology goes into just these wheel trucks that go under the train, this is probably the most complicated, certainly the mo most massive part of the entire train. Look at the disc brakes. They're huge. And over there to the left, those are the traction motors. Oh my. Those are installed and actually run the train forward. Back there's some bronze wheels. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure why they're using bronze on those. It's just those two axles. I'm curious there. And over here, uh, they have two paint booths. Isn't that something? Uh, with the drying technology, the, the heating lights and that sort of thing. 3,400 gallons of paint on each train set. Wow. And in spite of the huge size of these, the paint is just flawless. I know, you can't see any, any marks at all. They had a, a corporate video here running over by the paint booths so that you could actually see that process in action. I'm still amazed. And they had the grounds outside open. That's pretty interesting. Because you can walk around out here and see the finished product. Oh, they're beautiful. And there's a lot of them. They're building a lot of trains here. I like to see this. This industry is so wonderful to have this as a part of our community. And the train show. Man. Yes. <laughs> this is a great train show, and it happens to be in this magnificent facility. Right and hopefully they'll be able to continue doing this. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well, as they do more of these shows here, we will be there. Absolutely. We will make every attempt to be here oh, anyway. Sure. <laughs> and you'll want to see that, so you want to be a subscriber to the channel. And the easy, easy, easy way to become a subscriber is to click on the upcoming blue button. Point right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Tuesday. Right. See ya. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.